Hi guys, so I wanted to give you guys a update on the Philip Powell story and give you guys a full roundup because Mr. Philip Powell has finally spoken out about everything that has happened and I'm going to start off with the Gleaner and they divulge the amount of money that Leoda gave to have Tashana and Soraya killed and it says the murder contract was allegedly for five hundred thousand dollars and bradshaw allegedly made a down payment of one hundred thousand dollars so that's how easy a child and a mom's life was snuffed out that is approximate give or take four thousand dollars u.s Let's get into the chilling details of how all of this went down. And it says, The allegations were detailed in a press release issued by the Office of Director of Public Prosecution on Friday. After police revealed that 27-year-old Tashana Patterson and her 10-month-old daughter, Soraya Powell, were murdered and their bodies disposed of, it is alleged that Bradshaw was in a relationship and shares a child with Powell, and I hate how they word this. Bradshaw is Philip Powell's spouse. This is who he has been with for seven years. It is his common law wife who she considered to be her spouse a u.s resident she allegedly arrived in jamaica on september 6th and on said day began conspiring on belford richard brown and roshane miller three r's during these conversation up to the 9th of september 2023 there was an agreement made under the direction of leoda for these men to kidnap and kill tashana patterson and her 10 month old daughter soraya powell who was the product of a relationship that miss patterson had had with mr philip powell this plan also contained part payment which had been made of a oh, certain amount by leota bradshaw to the men for the successful execution of the plan the oddp stated in a release and that like i said before her down payment which was a hundred thousand dollars the full payment was five hundred thousand dollars it is further alleged that on September 9th, Patterson and her 10-month-old daughter were taken from their home at Glenmore Drive in Kingston by Bradshaw in a tinted SUV. The mother and the child were subsequently delivered to men, including two of Bradshaw's co-conspirators in St. Anne. Patterson and her daughter were said to be then forcibly taken to an area in East Kingston and murdered by the two men who were armed with a firearm. The ODDP said Bradshaw is charged with two counts of conspiracy. It is one of the most painful investigations for the team in recent times, Bailey said. Bradshaw, who shares a child with Powell, have been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and two counts of kidnapping and two counts of murder. The other person charged are... Roland Balfour, a 30-year-old assistant graphic designer of Kingston Address, who has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and misprisonment of felon. Roshane Miller, a 29-year-old air conditioning technician, who has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and misprisonment of felon and richard brown otherwise called richie of a kingston address who has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping two counts of kidnapping bailey said the director of public prosecutions have obtained a voluntary bill and the case will be taken directly to the supreme court he said the investigations are ongoing but refused to reveal specific details of the probe so Leona contacted her cousin to help with this murder and I'm for the life of me can't understand why 
her cousin didn't tell her that she was batshit crazy why didn't he say girl go do something better with your time money and life one thing i will say is soraya look exactly like her dad and if i am a woman and i'm in the u.s navy if you're in any for armed forces in the u.s you belong to the united states government they do not play so she was probably feeling like tashana had more access to philip than she would ever have because she lived in the u.s and she is in the united states navy and she was probably jealous of the relationship that philip had with tashana and the fact that the baby looked exactly like philip so dna or not that child look exactly like his daddy the fact that she concocted this plan is crazy to me and i'm not saying that women are not wicked and women can commit crimes but she is a grown woman she is 34 years old she have a seven year old daughter and she didn't think about her daughter what her daughter is going to think about when she goes to jail for a crime like this what's gonna happen to her daughter she didn't think while she was coming to the to jamaica about any of that how it's gonna affect her daughter what her daughter life is gonna be like she just didn't care she make 61 year old cocky mash up our brain uh, mash up our life and this is one thing i i i have to point out jamaican men need to stop playing with women emo emotions and also the same thing goes for jamaican women stop playing with people's emotion and investing in relationship people are not walking away from relationship that they have invested in for years anymore they're killing people as you guys can see and they're killing people they're killing children they're killing children they're killing anybody that will possibly ruin their relationship even if it's their spouse and they have to kill their spouse they are going to do it because they feel like they have invested way too much they've put their heart soul and body hole into this relationship and they can't afford to for it to go down the drain so this is a warning to all the men whether you're a politician or a regular man that work a nine to five stop playing with people's emotions stop making people invest into relationship that you do not want and you are not willing to stay faithful in it does nothing for you it does nothing for the person you're in a relationship with and nine times out of ten they end horribly so i'm going to end this video with what mr philip powell had to say Let's get into exactly what he had to say. So this is what Mr. Philip Powell had to say. And it says that anyone could murder a mother and an innocent baby is unimaginable. And my heart is heavy with sadness. I am praying for Tashana's family as a human being, father, lawyer, and a legislator I'm hoping that all who were involved are brought to justice and punished to the full extent of the law. That is what Philip Powell had to say about this. I feel like this is very political. This was right, written by a PR person or his lawyer. This is given very politically correct um i don't want my name mixed up into this so i'm gonna give my politically correct answer and that's how i'm gonna deal with this in the public but everyone deal with death and stuff happening to them very different and this case is still ongoing so he probably don't want to say too much but one thing i have to say is at some point he must have realized that something was wrong 
at some point he had to put two and two together that Leoda is in Jamaica, Tashana and Sarai are missing. And if he put two and two together, did he actually go to the police with his suspicions? Did he say anything to anybody? I can't wait for this case to continue and see where it goes. When you're in Jamaica and you are of high status, whether that be musician, politicians, lawyers, actors, whatever high status you have in Jamaica, you t things, things tend to get swept underneath the rug. And I'm watching this case very carefully to see how it's dealt with, to see how it's prosecuted to see all the laws that they're going to use how our judicial system is going to work in mr philip powell's favor or leoda's favor or tashana's favor and saraya's favor i'm looking at this case all around and i'm going to look at all the loopholes and everything that is being said and being done uh, uh both Tashana, who died, and her daughter, and also everyone that's still living and breathing. With that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Sorry if my voice sounds weird, weird. I'm sick. My voice is hoarse. But I'll keep you guys up to date, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.